three of my favorite crime series would include The Wire, Breaking Bad, and Power, at least the original Power. And on today's show, I'm going to talk to you about Walter White, Avon Barksdale, and James St. Patrick, who we know as Ghost. And I want you to help me to answer the question, who is the greatest mastermind criminal of these three? They all had great qualities, but who was the best mastermind? Man, I hope y'all ready. We're going to have a good time for these next few minutes. I'm Parlo from the Parlo Gym Show. Let's get ready to get into it. Now, I'm not going to go in any specific detailed um, order. So let's start with your man, Walter White. Walter White, we know Mr. Heisenberg. We see him coming on the scene as a teacher. He decides to start start selling drugs because he finds out he has cancer and he wants to leave his family and inheritance. I mean, a crazy story. But one of the things that I enjoyed about the series is how Walter basically was like MacGyver. This guy could think in very detail oriented ways to solve problems. And his mindset caused his business operation to grow at a great pace, even internationally. Now, when we look at his resume, as I thought about uh, Breaking Bad, Walter White, he outsmarted the DEA. He outsmarted you remember crazy Tuco? <laughs> oh, my gosh. He he manipulated and outsmarted Jesse Pinkman. At times, he outsmarted Gus Fring, who was a part of the cartel. And he slithered his way into the international game game. And I mean, just took his his business to multi-millionaire status. Now, one thing Walter was not able to outsmart was his family. His wife found out he brought her in the game and we know that his family actually ended up falling uh, because of all of the lies. And I think these three characters it's amazing how they couldn't be so wise without telling the truth. OK, so Walter White definitely grew into a monster, but his his storyline to me was actually believable and how he manipulated Jesse to almost play chess and not checkers. He, he was always two to three. Uh, moves ahead of his opponent. So I think that Walter White was definitely astute, very, very savvy, and definitely a mastermind at his craft, so much so that Walter got very, very arrogant and did not like the taste of defeat. But that's just life, folks. That's a gem right there. Sometimes in life, you're going to take an L. But boy, did Walter really blow his top whenever he suffered a loss. But man, look at from where he started as a school teacher to being at international heights, but ultimately losing his life. But definitely respect, respect the game. I mean, that was just amazing journey that he had. Now, let's look at your man, Avon Barksdale. Avon Barksdale, I mean, he had the city of Baltimore, especially West Baltimore, on lockdown. 
Okay. Now we saw that his mastermind skills was able to keep the city pumping with his illegal narcotic, his leadership style. Uh, he was able to keep his crew intact for the most part until Stringer got out of out of pocket and McNulty began to lock down on him and had a made up mind he was going to take him out. Now, when I think about Avon, I said, well, who did he really outsmart? You know, he had some good moves throughout the series. But really, it's as if when he came on the scene, we saw him reign for a very short time, maybe not as quick as Marlo. But nobody really. Matter of fact, I saw more people outsmart Avon. Then Avon outsmart other people. Omar got over on Avon. Stringer Bell ended up getting over on Avon. McNulty and Freeman <laughs> ended up getting over on Avon. And of course, Marlo Stanfield ended up outsmarting Avon. Now, though Avon had the city on lock, how much of a mastermind was he really? I mean, really think as I think about it. Was he really a mastermind? But I think he had good leadership. I just think he was unwilling to to change. With the error or the type of people that he was dealing with Avon was strictly old school and he would not convert or transform based upon the times that he was in he wasn't feeling co-op he wasn't feeling share share and alike he wanted to run the entire thing and I think that is a part of his downfall as far also as, as far as him being too close to his family him and D that 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 was part of his downfall. But to run an organization at his height, you can't deny that he was some type of mastermind. But was he on the level of Ghost and Walter White? So let's bring it on home and talk about St. Patrick Ghost. One thing I say about Ghost, he was the best dresser out of all of them. <laughs> That joke is stay casket clean. I'm telling you, ghost man. Man, step your suit game up. But ghost man, he outsmarted his wife for a time, Tasha. Even though she knew what he was into when it came to his extra marital affairs, he, he got over on her for a while. But when it comes to the business aspect, Think about it. He outsmarted Canaan. He got Canaan put in jail. Uh, he outsmarted the city in running his businesses at the laundromat and the club and used them as fronts to launder money for for some time. He outsmarted Simon Stern for a good period. And he was another type character that guy man was very slick he outsmarted Lobos and he outsmarted uh what's the guy's name uh Milan the Serbs the Serbian connect or the Serbian muscle so James held his own he was very intuitive very intelligent but my question is when you think about these characters who was the best mastermind who was the one that if it were you you would say man I would want to be able to think like that particular person when it came to running such an organization as they did I, I can't deny they're all on different levels but I can't deny that all of them had skills so Here's my here's my thought between these three. I'm going to have to say my number three is Avon Barksdale. I just don't think he was on the level of a 
Ghost, let alone uh, Walter. I think I think Avon, he couldn't even outdo the local police. <laughs> he couldn't outsmart the local detectives. OK. My number two would have to be Ghost. Ghost. He proved himself time and time again that he knew how to play chess and not checkers. So my ultimate mastermind of these three, in my opinion, has to be Walter White. Though he and Ghost went to international levels, I just see Walter as being a little bit more precise in his movements. When, when I look at how he maneuvered into the cartel and carved out a position, carved out a niche, <laughs> I mean, got a factory built <laughs> because of his skill set. I mean, manipulated people in such a way to where they would do things that he wanted them to do. I mean, look at how he did Jesse and his girlfriend. That was just cold blooded <laughs> with the little poison that he made. Wow. So when it comes to these three, again, my number three is Avon. Number two is Ghost. And my number one mastermind is Walter White. Hey, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section. You disagree. You agree. Who is the top in your mastermind between these three fictitious criminals? It's your man Parlo on the Parlo Gym Show. Make sure you like, subscribe, and show enough. Leave me a comment down in the comment section on today's episode. Catch me on my next one. Peace.